Hi everyone, this is in Chinmay from Informatica GCS and in this video I shall be demonstrating the steps to parse swift messages using the data processor transformation. So the agenda for today's video is as follows. First we shall be discussing a bit about the swift library as well as the supported swift messages. Then I shall show a demo of creating a data processor to parse a sample swift message. The swift library implements transformations that process both empty and MX messages. Swift organization has certified the data transformation library shipped for swift to be uh, used with versions 2008, 2009, 2010 and 2011. You can refer to this knowledge base article which has details on how to install the Swift library. The supported Swift message types are Swift empty which is for text based messages. For empty messages uh, the Swift library provides parsers, serializers, schema and validation components. The other type is the Swift MX for M XML based messages. For MX messages the library provides validation components. Now I'll be demonstrating on how we will be creating a data processor transformation to pass the Swift file. So first we begin by creating a blank data processor transformation. We select data processor and here we'll be creating a blank data processor and click on finish. So once the data processor is created, then I shall be demonstrating the next steps. Now that our data processor is created, we go to the objects tab to create our library project. Here we click on library, new and here we get a list of options of the supported message types. So MX stands for the MX messages, SRG18 and SRG19 stand for empty messages. So you can pass empty messages here belonging to different categories. 18 and 19 here stands for the respective years in which the library was released. So we are going to choose the latest one. And since I'm parsing 192, empty 192, I'll be selecting category 1. And here I will be selecting empty 192. And then I'll click on OK. After this, you get the option to select your sample input. So here I will be selecting the sample swift message which is an empty 192 message and then we click on finish. Now that our project is created it would look something like this and here we have the parser which got created and it has all of these automatically generated fields. So now if we provide a sample file and if I run this parser, it is going to show me the output in XML format. So here is a preview of what the output XML would look like. So with this, we summarize our demo. Here are some useful links you can refer to pertaining to the usage of Swift library. We would love to hear your feedback regarding the video so that we can improve the quality of these knowledge base videos. Thank you.